There is a green isle in lone Gugon Borough where Alawa of songs washes forth as an arrow. In deep valleyed Desmond, a thousand wild fountains come down to that lake from their homes in the mountains. There grows the wild ash, and a time-stricken willow looks chidingly down on the mirth of the billow, as, like some gay child, that sad monitor scorning, it lightly laughs back to the laugh of the morning. I too shall be gone, but my name shall be spoken when Erin awakes and her fetters are broken. Some minstrel shall come in the summer eve's gleaming when freedom's young light on his spirit is beaming and bend o'er my grave with a tear of emotion where calm Avon Bui seeks the kisses of ocean or plant a wild reed from the banks of that river or the heart and the harp that are sleeping forever. In his poem, Gugan Borough, the Musgrave school teacher, Jeremiah Joseph Callanan, reflects on his mortality. He sees the lake as the centre of Irish culture and a refuge for the bards of a vanishing tradition who fled from the Saxons' dark bondage and slaughter and waked their last song by the rush of the water. Exiled in Portugal, he greatly wanted to be buried in his native county beside the Avon Bui River. His wish that some minstrel would bend o'er his grave was never realised. He died and was buried in Lisbon in 1829, far from his native Cork.